While there's a lot of new features in the Onsong 2023 update, we've also taken some time to go in and refine many other features that you've come to know and love. And one of those is Viewport. So let's take a look. Now, if we go into the annotations menu, we've added tabs along the bottom. Those tabs split out viewports from the annotations themselves. So if I tap on viewports, I now see multiple viewports that I can set up. By default, I have a default viewport, and that's just the top of the screen with 100% scale. If I wanted to add a new viewport, I could come down here, zoom into a specific area of the song, maybe even select it if we have selection enabled, and press the plus button to add a new viewport. Now I can use the viewports menu to go between the viewports that I have set up, like my default viewport and viewport one. I can also tap and hold on that to perform different actions with the context menu. Because this isn't the default viewport, I can delete it, but I can also rename it. So I might want to rename that something like verse two. There. And I can add as many viewports as I want to add to the song. And the really neat thing is that I can also now use actions to navigate through those viewports. So I can come in here to my actions menu, and let's say I have a foot pedal attached. I can program that foot pedal to do different things, such as go to the default viewport, go to the previous or current or next viewport as well. Lastly, if I want to go back to my default viewport or reset the viewport, I can just come into my Additions menu, the Viewports tab, and hit Reset Viewport, and I'm back to my default viewport for the song. So I hope that gives you some new insight into what we've done with viewports. We've added the ability to create multiple viewports, name them, navigate dynamically between them, and even allow you to assign actions to move between viewports in your song.